Okay, ready to go. So, for starters, can you introduce yourself? Ah, uh, 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 introduce yourself? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, hi, I'm Toshio Maeda from Japan, and uh, I'm a uh, uh, manga artist. Uh, especially, you know, the people call me uh, Tentacle Master. You know that I'm manga artist for X-rated kind of things. And so they call you the Tentacle uh, Tentacle Master. Why do they call you that? I don't know. You know, I just invented you know the. The tentacle porno kind of things, and uh, you know the attacking, uh, mm -hmm. the molesting girls with uh, tentacle things. That's why. And so a lot of people might know you from Legend of the Overfiend, which is one of your more more popular, well-known works. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a bit about the inspiration behind that? Actually, you know, the, the, at the time I was uh, kind of fed up with uh, just uh, creating, uh, you know, cookie cutter erotic manga. So I decided to create something new, something new like. Uh, you know, plus sci-fi and the gory manga, gory type of, uh, you know, comics, so, and uh, in the end, I just, uh, you know, created the Rotsuki Doji. So, you mentioned, you know, you added the tentacles to it. What, were, what was the idea to have tentacles replace, you know, penises or whatever have you, <laughs> just to be straightforward? Actually, you know, as the, just uh, it, uh, the problem about artists, uh, in Japan at the time, censorship, is so strict so you know the embed and uh, you know the for example the woman on top or uh, you know the missionary or uh, you know or, uh, doggy style whatever you know that the, the sex scene is a big no no so but uh, they need some sensual scene and uh, and the genitals is uh, of course forbidden you know that's why i embedded the tentacle thing from you know with the creature it's not a genital, it's just a part of their body. <laughs> That's why, you know? Yeah. I just uh, try to, you know, go through the, the law <laughs> or censorship. Um, so, so, so can you tell us the... Um, it's a very complicated storyline, Legend of the Overfane. Mm -hmm. um, lots of characters, lots of subplots. It goes on for, you know, cycles in the universe and all, mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. um, was all this planned out when you first started the series or did you kind of write it as you went along? Probably, it, uh, you know, the, basically, uh, the, you know, the, from what I read when I was a boy. I, you know, when I was a kid, I, I was so hooked up in reading uh, Roman myths or uh, such sci-fi things. So I just, uh, you know, the, uh, modified such kind of, you know, the theme or agenda into my manga. Mm. And uh, at the time, you know, the, so many stories are kind of boy meets, you know, girl. And they just uh, have a one night stand and, the, the, it's a, you know, and the end. It's kind of boring. So, and plus, I, I was curious about, uh, uh, you know, the differences between the Western region and the Asian region. And uh, so, I, as I just a little taste, you know, behind the story, I put such element into my story. It's a kind of, you know, I try to spice up with yeah. my, you know, philosophy. So, um, your, your stories are pretty wild with some of the sexual antics with some of the characters. Mm -hmm. Is your own life equally wild? Actually, you know, the people always asking me, yes, I'm, you know, before I was geek, <laughs> but uh, actually when I was around 20, you know, my ex trapped me. Yeah. And uh, he's, she said uh, one particular night, uh, I was safe tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah. So with that, uh, you know, protection was, you know, something, and uh, I just gave her my best shot. <laughs> and... Uh, you know that I just uh, knocked her up. It was a trap. Oh. So we had a uh, you know the uh, shotgun wedding. After that, I really screwed up literally. <laughs> See, and uh, after that, after I you know got married, uh, you know I became a kind of zigoro <laughs> because I was desperately yeah. you know the. See, when I, you know, think about, when I thought about, uh, you know, my miserable, you know, conjugal life, because I was trapped, so I was fooling around, you know, with another guard, yeah. hooked up with another guard, and uh, so, yeah, and uh, plus, I was uh, reporting uh, about a professional, you know, the, the ladies for the night, uh -huh. the publisher arranged everything, 
So I just, uh, you know, went to the hotel or somewhere and uh, I met, uh, you know, the professional ladies. And uh, I, rip I was reporting that, what kind of techniques they had. But uh, like a kinky type of stuff, you know, publisher, you know, really wanted me to do that. Like uh, breastfeeding play, you know, the pregnant lady kind of play, mm -hmm. or sleeping beauty play. One girl was sleeping in the bed. I can do anything, and you know, molesting or uh, anything except for sex. Uh -huh. Or sometimes, you know, yeah. I had sex, of course. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> And yeah, kind of, you know, reporting I was. Yeah. So probably more than a uh, uh, thousand ladies, I got laid. <laughs> but, you know, it's part of my business. It's a job. I, <laughs> I hate my business. <laughs> <laughs> so this was before you were doing the, you were working on manga or uh -huh. was it the same time? Uh, at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're also doing recording. I was busy, but I just uh, tried to make time for that. Yeah, <laughs> of course, of course. Um, so what ended up happening with your, with your then wife? Did you eventually... Eventually, you know, uh, when I met her, yeah. I just, uh, you know, that recorded anything. I just uh, took a photo for such ladies and kind of things. So one day, she just found out something, you know, peculiar or uh, strange photos in my computers. Mm -hmm. And she checked such photos. and. Uh, you know, the strange, you know, ladies, uh, you know, the strangers uh, s were sucking my dick. <laughs> but uh, I, I just uh, took it, you know. So she didn't uh, find out my face exactly. But uh, she said, ah, I think I'm familiar with this type of tiny, teeny, you know, little worm like a dick prick. Are you, by any chance, have you had a fuck? with a nice girl and I stop you know such a reporting yeah. business I'm decent man now after that I became real gentleman oh okay so you're only a gentleman now no, of, no course, more. of no, course no of course you know after that no more nice girls no more kinky stuff and um, some people might also remember you you were on an episode of Anthony Bourdain's um, yes yes uh, how did how that, how that come about uh, you know that he just mentioned, you know, he had been a, a big fan of my manga, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, of course, you know, he, he was his curiosity is kind of meals, food, everything, yeah. right, over the world. So when he, you know, came to Tokyo, he really liked to, to meet me, and uh, you know, like me in, you know, on his, uh, the, you know, TV shows. Yeah. Yes. Do you norm Do you normally give tours like that or anything like that? You know, otherwise. Oh, what, what, what kind? Eh? Like those kind of tours around, you know, Tokyo or whatever. You know, I sometimes, you know, that so many people just uh, visit Tokyo and uh, uh, want to see me mm -hmm. in person in Tokyo. So I just, uh, you know, uh, take them around Tokyo and uh, Akihabara, yeah. Asakusa. You know, you know, Akihabara is mm -hmm. a mecca exactly. of otaku people. So people are so happy with me. You know, I'm being guiding them. Yeah. Because I've heard stories of you know other fans who meet you and they drink with you and they end up showing them right, around. Right, 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 right. It's, uh, it's it's my favorite. I really appreciate people come to Tokyo and uh, you know uh, meet me there. So besides Legend of the Old Thing, what are some of your other popular works? Actually, you know people don't believe me, but uh, I'm dealing with any kind of manga, you know, including political manga, oh. educational manga. You don't believe that. Educational. <laughs> How can I educate them with my tentacles? <laughs> but you know the the manga for ladies, yeah. manga for boys, and the covers for magazines, everything. Yeah, I'm a jack of all trades, but must have known. Mm. Maybe must have tentacles. Tentacles. <laughs> Maybe tentacles. I think you got a good <laughs> corner with tentacles. So, how does it? How do? How do you manage all these other types of genres? You know, how do you separate your your mind basically? You but, know, you know, it, it's just a simple. You know, Japanese manga artists uh, uh, they are kind of you know, versatile. You know, do this stuff. You know, that sometimes totally different type of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm writing a storyline for ladies manga actually. So I like to do that. Uh, you know, good for a change. And it, it, it's 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 simple. Um, so you come to a lot of shows like this. I remember you've been at Anime Expo. You've been at Sack Anime in the past. Mm -hmm. What's it like meeting some of your Western fans? Actually, you know, uh, I prefer the middle side or small side, you know, Comic Con. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
you know that after you know having a you know the my business I I tend to have a, you know I I like to have a small gathering with the local fan mm. and then, you know they just uh, okay let's be up right <laughs> so I like to talk to you know local fan yeah. everywhere and uh, probably for them it's kind of rare mm. to just uh, you know have a drink together with yeah. a Japanese artists, right? Exactly. So we are having fun. Yeah, I, I really, you know, uh, you know, uh, get a big kick out of that. Yes. Um, do you have any other plans for any uh, upcoming works? That uh, are actually, you know, uh, actually, you know, I was uh, working for uh, manga school, you know, uh, last year, but uh, you know, I, I thought uh, I couldn't be, uh, uh, you know, the small cog in a big machine. Oh, okay, I'm a yeah. kind of, you know, the uh, long wolf or, uh, you know kind of manga artist right so I, I don't know what's next but I'm thinking about it do you have plans to maybe visit any more of your more adult titles or uh, I don't know I'm sure I'm okay. sure you'll see okay okay um so before we before we wrap this up actually you have a lot of some of your, your art for sale mm. where can people go to maybe get commissions or you know to find more of your work um but uh, you know that i'm old school and the dinosaur <laughs> now, you know that just uh, you know that manga artist uh, as uh, you know the over the hill type of you know the man yeah and but uh, you know some people still you know that being a big fan of my works so i appreciate that and they come to my booth and uh, you know ask something commission or whatever so yeah I take it any you know the nasty uh, you know uh, order su uh, such as uh, you know the oh I, I, like, I like you know to have a sketch in that sketch I'm raping my wife with my tentacle thing and the several tentacles is you know the uh, raping my wife oh, okay okay whatever you know yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah so yeah I can take any nasty order because I'm nasty <laughs> You me actually, you mentioned earlier, you know, you do ladies comics, you do educational comics, etc. Um, do you want to be more known for that, or are you you glad being known just for? Um, you, know? you know, it depends on the the manga fans, uh, you know, order or uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, anything. You know, uh, you know, I, I'm here and I'm answering their request or anything. So it's up to them, education or political things mm -hmm. or tentacle. <laughs> it's the same to me. Yeah. Do you have any more plans to come to the U.S. anytime soon? Uh, hopefully, uh, this month I, I'm going to Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, yeah, AWA. for Atlanta Comic Con. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's cool. okay. So you know, it, it might be my first. It, yeah, it's my first time to okay. be there. So I I'm looking forward, you know, to going there. Yes. Okay. And lastly, can you leave your fans with a closing message? Okay. Uh, you know the my manga fan. Love, you know, tentacle porno or uh, just, uh, I don't know, the, you know, X-rated manga. But uh, don't, you know, don't, you know, choke your chicken too much. <laughs> you, you go blind. Take care. Bonus question. What's your most craziest sexual episode? Crazy episode? So many things. You know, whole, my whole life is full of shit. <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, the, I go to the Thailand and uh, I just, uh, you know, the... Uh, I was dealing with a cute, really cute lady, right? And in the, in the end, I just found out, uh, you know, the, her bigger dick in her pants. And the, the sad, saddest thing was that uh, his dick was way bigger than mine. <laughs> miserable. <laughs> it sounds like it'd be miserable. <laughs> Thank you so much for the interview. Thank Let's, you so much. Thank you. Thank you.